much of World War II was fought on the seas, epic battles between aircraft carriers and the massive battleships of the time. On this episode of A History of the Navy in 100 Objects, we are joined by Don Cruel, the curator of ship models at the Naval Academy Museum, for a comparison between the battleships of the Japanese and American forces. Welcome to the Naval Academy Museum. Today, we're going to talk about two very significant battleships that were used during World War II. We have from the Imperial Japanese Museum, um, Imperial Japanese uh, Navy was the Yamato, 65,000 tons. She was armed with 18-inch guns. She could do a speed of about 31 miles an hour. A huge ship. I mean, this was the largest ship that was built during World War II uh, as far as a battleship. Enormous ship, fairly quick. Now, on the other hand, we have the, uh, the Missouri. The Missouri, a smaller ship, she only, was, she only tacks in at 45,000 tons and only carrying 16-inch guns instead of 18s like the Yamato, both of them having nine guns each. Main difference here, Missouri had 2,700-pound shells that she could throw oh, approximately 24 miles where the Yamato had 3,200-pound shells that she could throw 26 miles. So you can see where there's a difference as far as distance-wise. The Yamato could be two miles farther away and still be able to be within range of Missouri. In turn, the one advantage that Missouri had was their fire control system. They had a much more advanced fire control system. Plus, she traveled at 37 miles an hour or what, 32 knots instead of 27, like the Yamato. So she could be quicker. She could get within range and then get out of range by moving quick. Plus her fire control system was the most advanced in the world at the time, where Yamato's fire control system was, actually was a relatively poor system. So accuracy wise, Missouri could, could actually be a lot more accurate than, uh, than the Yamato. If I were to actually say that if they were to ever have gone into battle against each other, I think it would be a tough fight between the two. Missouri probably had a slight advantage uh, over the Yamato. Uh, if the Missouri ever, or I should say, if the Yamato was lucky enough to have hit her with their poor fire control system, it probably would have knocked out their radar system, which with that size, that size shell, it, would, it just would have shook the whole ship, thrown off the fire control system, then Yamato would have had an advantage. But as far all in all, I believe the Missouri had a slight advantage, faster, better fire control system. Now, let's talk about these two models. Here we go with the, uh, the model of the Missouri. Steve Seligman, one of my volunteers down in the model shop, wanted a project. And we had a Missouri on display before, but it depicted her as she was after World War II and was modernized. And it really wasn't fitting for the theme of being, you know, here's the ship as she was in September during the signing of the treaty between Japan and US. So we decided, the director and myself decided that it'd be nice to have a, a really nice model of the Missouri here. So Steve, who had never actually built a model from scratch, from a set of drawings, he volunteered and he wanted to hone his skills and get better at model building, so I threw this project at him, which he was a little awestruck to start off with that I would give him such a task. But nevertheless, he learned how to carve the hull. The hull is made out of solid basswood. He had to construct all the different deck levels. A lot of these parts we already had pre-made as far as the details, but Steve took, oh, I guess it took him almost three and a half to almost four years to construct this model. And um, it is an exact replica as she was uh, during the signing. It even has the table up on the O2 level where the signing took place. And this is the actual table and tablecloth uh, behind us with Nimitz sitting at the, at the table putting his autograph down on the treaty. Let's continue now talking about the model of the Yamato. We discussed the Missouri. This was the main battleship of the Imperial Japanese Navy. Um, this actually was built by Harry Ohanian. And uh, he 
purchased this, it's a kit in 1-200 scale, almost the same scale as the Missouri, but he was not satisfied with the kit at all. He wanted to learn a whole bunch of things, no different than Steve did with the Missouri. He wanted to learn how to do casting, how to use photo etch, how to make masters, things like that. So we took the kit and uh, Harry asked for my guidance on teaching him different aspects of how to do certain techniques on the model. He wanted to show all the hull plating uh, on the model. So uh, I showed him the techniques that I use when, uh, when building models to represent that shell plating on the outside of the hull. So he learned that real quick, scraped off all the details on the hull and proceeded to simulate all the hull plating. The other thing Harry wanted to do is he wanted to have a complete wooden plank deck. Now the model showed decking, but he went ahead and he basically eliminated all the details on the deck. And then he proceeded to start cutting up little pieces of wood. I think this is red gum, which is what was used on this particular deck. In 20 thousandths wide, just little strips. And by the time he got through putting the decking on this, there's close to 3,500 individual planks. Amazing, I mean, and very tedious. It took a long time. This model took approximately four years to build. The time he spent on this model, he said, you know, would you like to have it at the museum? It was his model. And he said, I'd love to donate it. And I said, absolutely, we'll take this. It's gorgeous. And it, it'll be a good compliment uh, to the Missouri model and to the World War II exhibit here within the museum. Ultimately, the U.S. battleships were victorious. Come to the Naval Academy Museum to see more models and learn more about the naval forces that were dominant in World War II. Thanks for joining us for this episode of A History of the Navy in 100 Objects.